Let me begin, as usual, uh, with the key messages emerging from our forecast. Um, first, compared to the previous one, the winter forecast, uh, published uh, the 10th of February, growth in the EU economy is revised lower and inflation higher. We now forecast the EU economy to grow by 2.7% this year uh, before slowing further to 2.3% next year. For 22, this is 1.3 percentage points lower than projected in February. So one of the steepest between forecasts downgrades. Annual inflation is expected to hit an all-time high of 6.8% this year and to fall to 3.2% next. Second, the war has clearly exacerbated the headwinds that were previously expected to gradually fade. This include the sharp rise in commodity prices and the aggravation of the existing supply-side disruptions as well as the emergence of new ones, for instance, in transport and logistics. Third, a strong and improving labor market, decreasing household saving rates, favorable financing conditions, and the full deployment of the RRF are set to support the economy. Fourth, deficits and debt ratios are forecast to decline this year and next. Governments, as you know, are uh, in the process of phasing out the COVID-19 universal emergency, emergency support, and the cyclical rebound in revenues is in full swing. So the aggregate budget deficit in the EU should decline from 4.7 in 21 to 2.5 in 23. For Italy, the short-term outlook remains subdued as the war has dented economic sentiment and exacerbated existing obstacles to growth. Still, real GDP is projected to increase by 2.4 this year. Next year, growth forecast is at 1.9, supported by RRF-financed investment. 